what up what up welcome to another tuck talks and i'm so sorry we're a little behind on tuck talks our uh, youtube series that gives right now recaps of next level chef so we are not current right we are totally up to date but that's okay we're gonna reverse a little bit talk our way up to our current state of being and then we'll move forward with our tuck talk series but tuck talks we're talking about the fried challenge episode now the uh goal of today was to today's challenge was to create a fried dish right fried uh entree dish and so you know fried food is not one of the things that i eat a lot of the times uh, i tend to stick with non-fried foods as the healthier option but i've definitely worked a fry station before um if you've taken my classes we've definitely done uh frying in those classes so it's not something i'm unfamiliar with so i'm not concerned about this challenge but we roll in and I am on the top level, all right? I'm on the top level with Chef Pilar, um, and we've got Naisha as our mentor today. Now, there's a time token at play here, the sneaky, cursed time token of season two, and Pilar decides to uh, bestow that upon me. And so, like she said in the past episode, you know, when Nori uh, called us out as competition, she, you know, was like, thank you, that's a compliment. And so, um, no hard feelings toward Pilar at all. Um, Thank you. <laughs> you know, uh, we're, we're definitely in competition with each other. Um, there's no hard feelings at the end of the day. This is a game, right? So um, she's making a move here. And by taking 10 seconds away from me, she's also giving herself 10 seconds without me there at the platform. So um, in my opinion, this was a solid move on her part, right? Very well thought out, very well thought through. And I can't fault her for that at all. And so um, she rushes off to the platform, right? And Obviously, I have to wait that 10 seconds, so I only get 20 seconds at this platform to make my entire grab. Now, 20 seconds is not a long time. 30 seconds is not a long time, uh, but 20 seconds definitely hits. So, finally, her 10 seconds unencumbered by me at the platform is over. I run up there, and I kind of have tunnel vision. I'm kind of panicking because I know I only have 20 seconds, and that is not a lot of time. So, I just see the first protein I see. I just grab that. Turns out it is a veal chop. And then I grab some other accoutrement, but I'm still kind of fried in my brain. Huh. Um, still kind of feel a little frazzled. And so I get back to my station and my dish, I have some decent ingredients here, but it doesn't really make sense. Or at least to me, I'm not making sense in my brain of something cohesive to put together here. Like I'm still off in outer space over there. So I'm like, oh. And so we start this challenge and uh, Naisha comes over and she's like, oh, what would you do with the time token if you had it? And I just like poke a little fun. I'm like, oh, well, I know what I would do now, you know, um, to amp up a little drama. <laughs> but, um, but no, so we're, you know, we're in this cook challenge and I decide to bread and fry my pork, uh, my veal chop here. I bread and fried a whole pork chop. I bread and fried a whole veal chop uh, earlier in the season for uh, the uh, veal parm dish. And so it went well. And so I was like, all right, I can do that again. Right. Third time's the charm here. And so I start to do the breading, and when you bread something, you need a three-part breading system. Flour, egg, panko. If you don't have that flour, the egg has nothing to stick onto. Uh, somewhere in my flustered mindset, I forget the flour. And so you see that my pork chop, like in a bowl with some stuff, those are just spices. I completely forgot the flour. So amateur hour over here forgets the first step of her three part breading system. And I realize when I go to egg wash this that I don't have any eggs. And usually eggs are in our pantry staples. Uh, each floor has some pantry items uh, that are always there no matter what. So like eggs, butter, stock, spices, flour, stuff like that, really basics, right? And, and so I realized that there's no eggs in the fridge. And so I'm like, uh, chef, Chef Naisha, uh, there's no eggs in the fridge. And she's like, what do you need eggs for? And I was like, well, you know, like we're like frying stuff and like I would like some eggs. And she was like, well, good thing the mid-round mayhem is eggs. And so I'm like, oh my God, thank you. So I run up to the platform. There's all the kinds of eggs you could ever want, like want, right? There's like caviar, there's trout roe, there's duck eggs, there's quail eggs. And I'm like, all right, I actually need some eggs to, to get my fry station off the ground here. Like just some regular eggs. <laughs> so I grab some eggs and get my breaded uh, veal chop going. Unfortunately, like I said, I forgot the flour. So I went egg and panko. And then I start frying this bad boy and my egg wash, uh, my panko breaded situation is obviously just falling all off all over the place. Well, duh, because there's no flour. And so I'm like, oh shit, what have I done? And so I go up to Naish and I'm like, chef, this is like not working. And she's like, watching me this whole time right she's like first thing out of her mouth did you did you flower it nope sure didn't 
So I'm like, okay, well, uh, mm, what do I do now? And she's like, rebread it. And so at this point, she knows as well as I do, you can't rebread something that is half already fried. But obviously, I don't have a lot of options right now, so I try and do my best here. Um, spoiler alert, it doesn't work at all. So, you know, I'm getting my veal chop back in the pan. I pan fry it a little bit. It's got some burnt spots. The breading is falling off. This is like the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. Ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. And so at this moment, I'm like, I'm going into elimination. There's no way I'm going to get something on this plate that is good enough to, to, to take me to the next round without having to fight for my life in this elimination round. Like, this dish is fucking hideous. And so I fry up some zucchini. Um... I fried up some Brussels sprouts because apparently everything on my plate had to be fried. Luckily, I grilled some zucchini and confit some cherry tomatoes, so there were two elements on this plate that were not fried, but literally three of three of the components were fried. <laughs> and um, it was just, uh, you know, not a dish I was proud of, obviously. Um, not a dish I stood behind, and when they were like, uh, Tucker, you know, this dish fucking sucks. I was like, eh, I know. Like, just send me the elimination run already, you know? Like, just, just pull me out of my misery here. But... In any event, right, I know that this isn't great. And so I'm just like, just just get something on the on the plate, put the plate on the platform, and just fight out through elimination. Like that is at this point, that's all you can do right now. And so I do. I throw some things together on this plate, I throw it on the platform. Pilar nearly misses the platform, which is wild. This is why we say the time token is cursed, right? Since we're so ahead, we can kind of look back with that hindsight. But now we know the time token is cursed. So uh, it takes its anchor out. The time token takes its anchor out on Chef Pilar by her nearly missing that platform. So she's concerned about her dish. I'm concerned about my dish. At this point, we're just hoping that people in the bottom two floors screwed up more than we did. And of course, we never know what's going on down there. We can only see our floor. So off to judging. Um, unfortunately, uh, I've got myself, Teeny, and Nori in uh, the elimination today. Pilar narrowly escapes. But Teeny had some overcooked pork. Nori had undercooked pork and my veal chop was hideous and slightly overcooked. Obviously, for having to getting it in and out of the pan, breaded a bunch of different times, obviously it was overcooked. So unfortunately, the three of us are off to elimination where they tell us that they're gonna turn off the gas. And we're like, what does that mean? Turns out, you don't get any heat source except this beautiful traditional Japanese bicho tan grill. Now, if you've never worked with one of these before, they're elite, right? We use them a lot in a lot of Michelin star kitchens. Um, I know uh, Atelier Cren uses them, Aquarello uses them. Um, I ate at this lovely uh, pasta restaurant on the mission the other day called Flour and Water. I know they have a bicho tan grill over there. These coals get extremely hot and they hold their heat super well. And so you get this really nice kind of charred yakitori-ish kind of flavor on there. And it can be really beautiful, right? If you can control that fire, control the heat. That's the secret on these ovens, ovens, <laughs> grills. And so um, I love working with these, so I'm, I'm feeling good about this. Um, I don't feel good about uh, getting into this platform grab with Chef Stretch. Chef Stretch, love, love the boy, but he's like 17 feet tall. And so I know that I'm never gonna make it to the platform before him. His legs are literally twice as long as my entire body. So he's gonna get there first. He's gonna have first choice of protein. So I have to have two plans here. First choice of protein and second choice of protein and plans for these proteins, right? And so, you know, I get to the platform, not first, and Stretch has already gotten his protein off the uh, off the platform, but Teeny is struggling to get that steak off there. I don't know what's taking her so long, but by the time I get to the platform, her hand's on there, but it's not off the platform. That's still in fair play. So I jump up, I put my hand in there too, right? And then we're struggling for the steak. Um, I end up getting the steak. She gets the chicken, Nuri gets the salmon. We start this cook challenge. We got 30 minutes in this elimination round to pull this off, right? And the last 90 seconds of that are plating. So I'm getting my steak on this grill. I'm getting some grilled broccolini in here. I'm doing a little apple and um, endive salad on the side, kind of a little vinegar with a little lemony kind of vinaigrette sort of slaw situation. And I make this beautiful chimichurri sauce right over the top. Um, it's actually my girlfriend's chimichurri recipe. So it's got some honey in it, it's got some vinegar in it, um, got a lot of herbs in it. So it's got a really fresh kind of brightness to it. I think that's gonna pair well with this salad. Um, and I've got all those nice charred notes on this steak. And so I know I'm cooking it to a nice, beautiful, medium rare here. And I'm hoping this is enough to keep me in this competition. So when the elimination round is over and the three of us are standing there, with our hearts on this plate, right? We are cooking our hearts out here today. Nobody wants to go home, right? We're getting down to the wire here. Like everybody is a badass, 
there's no like oh maybe my dish won't suck quite as much as someone else's like eat you you really got to put in the effort you got to put your heart into these plates it is such a challenge at this point and so what happens is uh unfortunately chef teeny does go home after this elimination challenge um she didn't uh, actually grill the chicken she used a pan for it so it didn't have the kind of grilliness that they wanted and I believe she forgot the sauce on her plate as well. So um, she unfortunately is going home. Nuri and I advance to the next level. However, we'll be starting in the basement. And next week is baking challenge. So season one never had to do any baking. Um, and so we are doing a dessert episode, a baking dessert challenge here. And so stay tuned uh, for the next week's episode of Tuck Talks where we discuss Tuck baking in the basement. Yikes. <laughs> Take care, follow my socials, right? Follow my TikTok, follow my Instagram, follow my YouTube for more Tuck Talks. Once we finish with the next level series, we'll get right into a bunch of different foods. Let me know if you have any um, wish wishes that you wanna see me talk about on these episodes. But thanks for hanging out, and I will catch you guys around the internet.